Odd looked down on the human race and saw wickedness, violence, and evil everywhere. He decided to destroy all living things on the earth except for Noah, who had found grace in the eyes of the Lord. God instructed Noah to build an ark that is 300 cubits long, 50 cubits wide, and 30 cubits high. How long a cubit precisely is in this context has been disputed. Although a common cubit was said to be 18 inches, the length of a man's arm from elbow to fingertip, it's been argued that sacred cubits were several inches longer than this. God then instructed Noah to take two of every sort of animal into the ark, so that whilst the other animals would be wiped out, each species would be preserved through these two specimens, though see our analysis below on the number of each animal. When Noah was 600 years old, God released the rains that lasted for 40 days and nights, causing the flood. Noah and his wife, sons and their wives, along with the animals he had taken aboard the ark, were spared the flood and survived. But every living thing outside of the ark was destroyed in the waters of the flood. The ark eventually came to rest on the mountains of Ararat. Not Mount Ararat, as is often supposed, because there was no such mountain. Ararat was a region, not a mountain, although Ararat is now the name of a peak in Turkey. When the waters receded, Noah sent a raven out of the ark to search for dry land, and then a dove. The dove returned, so Noah waited a week and then sent it out again. This happened several times before the dove eventually returned with an olive branch in its mouth, a symbol of peace ever since. In 913, God showed Noah the rainbow he had set in the clouds, which he told Noah was his covenant with man, that he would never flood the earth again.